Thank you. Thank you for being here. And uh, my part of the presentation will take just a few minutes, then Enrico will tell you something more about uh, the paper. And uh, the, um, the aim of this study was to, to verify to what extent Italian parties have followed patterns of organizational change um, towards more decentralized and stratarchical party models, in particular, in line with the spirit of this conference, we focused on uh, the procedures of candidate selection compared to other eight uh, organizational variables. Um, our qualitative research design, which is pretty different from the rest of the paper presented today, um, tries to combine two analytical perspectives, uh, which have been developing separately but in our opinion need to be integrated uh, to understand how the relationship between uh, party national structures and party subnational articulation have changed during the last 20 years. So the first perspective considers um, the, the nationalization of party politics as the byproduct of um, the institutional reform cycle began at the beginning of the 90s um, within the framework of the cohesion policy, so promoted by the European Union. While the second perspective assumes that party organizational evolution has brought about a new party model uh, based on stratarchical rather than hierarchical tendencies. Uh, from this point of view, changes in institutional as well as in societal and technological factors uh, led political parties to uh, increase the autonomy of different party layers to maximize party performances at all levels. So, well, sorry, the literature we refer to is mainly this, party organizational change, uh, party decentralization, organization theory, and new institutionalism. In particular, we decided to, to um, adopt an institutional approach to organization theory uh, to analyze the interactions between, the, um, between environmental and endogenous factors in promoting organizational change. Uh, we assume that organization, or one or two or three or whatever, um, move within a functional field characterized by specific institutional regimes as well as technical environments. Uh, institutional regimes are uh, the set of norms, values, procedures to which organization need to conform to gain legitimacy, while technical environments are the arenas where organization carry out their specific functions and uh, try to obtain specific rewards. The combination of these pressures that we call, like uh, Rowan and Mayer, rational myth, um, favor organizational isomorphism. Um, as the success of an organization depends on its ability to conform uh, to the prevailing rational myths of that functional field. However, um, different organizations um, react differently in different ways to exogenous pressures coming from the broader environment. And it depends from their level of organizational institutionalization on their position within the functional field and on the stability of the functional field itself. So the, natu the natural, let's say, uh, institution, um, functional field of political parties is the political system, of course. And in general, political parties have to confront with formal institutional regimes, such like, you know, uh, party laws, electoral laws <laughs> and uh, laws on party activities, party funding, access to media and whatever. While the informal regimes are the prevailing ideas and beliefs about the nature, profile and roles of political parties. Technical environments are, in this case, electoral arena and uh, representative arena. While party Organizational institutionalization implies, st implies stability in time of a number of dimensions, uh, party boundaries, party ideology and values, and party formal profile. In the paper, we have uh, analyzed only one dimension, uh, which is a um, 
the stability of the formal profile of Italian parties, it's to say its articulation and functioning in time as regulated by the statutes. So we try to find some evidences about uh, a relation between changes in formal institution, institutional regimes, uh, the devolution policy, let's, let's call it like this, and changes in party uh, organizational profile. We analyzed eight uh, different parties from 1991 to 2012, and Enrico is telling you something about this. The, our, our question are this, how did new parties adapt their organization to changing institutional regimes? Did they undergo any process of uh, decentralization, strategization in time? Thanks you all for being here. So our purpose, as Eugenio already said, is to analyze the formal profile of political parties. When we mean formal profile, it means that we are studying the party status, party bylaws, and so on. And we seek to see which is the degree of autonomy of the regional levels from the national level in performing functions at the, at the, at the regional level. And also, we want to seek also which is the degree of involvement of the regional levels in performing functions at the national level. So there, are, there, are, there is a mutual interdisciplinary, mutual, mutual uh, um, relations between the regional level and the national level. And we are uh, studying 10 different variables. Okay, the most important are the two related to the selection of, na of national and the regional uh, candidates for the national and the regional elections. And other four uh, more uh, functions of political parties. And so we are analyzing five functions performed at the national and the regional level. That's why we have 10, function, 10 variables that we analyze. And these functions are selecting the party candidates for elections, selecting the party leader, composition of the party executive, amending the party statute, deciding the electoral campaign strategy. And this is our operationalization we did. So we assign value one to those variable uh, and to those function where a decision is taken by party organ exclusively composed by members at the regional, of the regional level. So when the uh, power of taking a decision is performed by the regional level, we assign value one. On the contrary, we assign value five when the decision is taken by a party organ exclusively composed by members of the national level. And all the other values over there so two, three, four, are in a mixed position between the maximum of regionalization and the maximum of nationalization. And we also give an attention, not just only to the numerical composition of the party body, but also to the rights that the member of the national level or the member of the regional level have. For example, in some cases, regional members or national members have only voting, uh, are member of the body without voting rights. In other cases, they have only a, consulted, a consultative uh, role and so on. And this is an example, for example, from we, from one, for one variable, selecting national candidates. That is one of our two most important variables. And we can see that we gave a value one to, uh, when the, uh, the function is performed by national party organ, formed, formed exclusively by regional members and so on. So when, you have, when we have value one, it means that the power is in the regional, the regional level. When we give uh, uh, 0.5, it means that the power is in the national level. So what, what do we expect? Uh, there's a wider literature that talk about the stratarchization process of political parties. So if this stratarchization hypothesis is true, what we expect is, is the, the, the following. So we expect high degrees of autonomy of regional levels from national levels, and we expect also low degrees of involvement of regional levels in performing function at the national level. So stratarchy means mutual independence between regional levels and national levels. And we introduce in the picture a typology over here uh, where, we try, where, where we try to analyze and to give to the floor uh, four different types of, uh, of uh, organizational model of party. And there is not a general agreement in literature uh, on these uh, four different uh, models. 
but there's a, a general agreement uh, uh, for what concern the stratarchical parties. So the stratarchical parties over there, so in the lower and the right position, are those parties where there is the highest level of mutual independence between the regional and the national level. And we can we introduce also other models in the picture. And one is the hierarchical parties where all the decisions are taken by the national level, even for functions performed at the regional level and for functions performed at the national level. There are also decentralized parties where the power is in the regional level that can, say, can take the decision for the regional level and also for the national level. And also there is also this, we call them integrated party. That means that there is a cooperation between the regional and the national level. The regional level can influence the national levels and the national levels can influence the functions of party perform at the regional level. Uh, so let, let's, say, let's have a look about the uh, results. Uh, these are the aggregated results. Uh, so what about the involvement? The involvement of regional levels in performing functions at the, niche, at the national level. So we expect, if the stratarchization hypothesis is true, a value like cl very close to five. Actually, the mean of variables is only 2.86. That means that it's not very close to five. But the selection of candidates for national elections is the only variable which presents a value in line with this stratarchical model because the value of the uh, selection of national candidates SNC is 3.69, okay? And what about the autonomy? The autonomy of regional level towards the national level. Even here, we, we can say that the, the, hypothesis of, the hypothesis of stratarchization of political parties is not confirmed because the value are very far from the expected one. We should expect values very close to one, but we don't find su such a kind of values. So, but try to have a look about the results disaggregated by political parties, by different parties. We can see here, you can see in the first row, the name, uh, in the first rows, the, name, the names of political parties, and you can see Lega Nord, uh, Alleanza Nazionale, National Alliance, Forza Italia, and so on. So basically, in the first three lines, in the first three rows, we have the center-right political parties, and in the, other, uh, on, in the lower um, three lines, three rows, we have the center-left political parties. Anyway, we can see here a very huge variance between political parties according to the two dimensions, the dimensions of, of involvement of regional levels in the national functions, and the, the dimension about the autonomy of regional levels in their functions at the regional, at the regional level. And this uh, huge variance is confirmed also graphically by this picture. And we, 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 we introduce this uh, graph in order to give you a physical view about the different positioning of Italian parties along the involvement and autonomy dimensions. And you can see that the only one political parties that adopt a stratarchical model are the so-called are the, the left-wing party that comes from the ancient and previous Italian Communist Party, the PCI. Because you can see that Communist Refundation Party, the PRC, and, and the PDS, and uh, dem that's the left Democrats and so on, are the only parties that adopt a strategical uh, model. On the other, we have to put in mind that this is a research on paper, so based on uh, status, statutes and bylaws of political parties. On the opposite side, you have the so-called integrated parties, mainly the center-right political parties. And we have also the uh, decentralized parties. There's only one here, that is the Lega Nord, that is an autonomist and regionalist right-wing party. And so it's coherent. The, its organizational framework is very coherent with its, uh, I don't know, their aim of existence. And on, to conclude this presentation, we see the hierarchical parties. And we can say that, uh, this is very interesting, that the newest party, parties, the mainstream parties, that has been created and established uh, six years ago and five years ago, that means the Democratic Party, the main party of the center left, and the PDL, the Berlusconi Party, uh, established five years ago, have a very similar organizational framework, because they are both hierarchical parties. Someone can say, uh, what about the role of primaries in the, in the PD? 
Well, if we talk about the relation between regional levels and national levels, the primaries do not give powers to regional levels. They give power to national levels. Thank you very much.